Hi everybody and welcome to our fourth Key Stage 3 science lesson. Today's lesson is called the Periodic Table and by the end of this lesson hopefully we'll be able to take some of the elements we've learned about and position and classify them on the Periodic Table. So before we look forward to the Periodic Table, let's look back at last lesson when we were balancing chemical equations. I'd like you to pause the video and use the method that we learned last time to balance the equation on screen. Okay, how did you get on? So Al plus Cl2 makes AlCl3. So the first thing we need to do is write down what we've got in the boxes. So I've got an Al, I've got two Cl's in a box, and I've got Al and my three Cl's in the other box. And remember, you can only add a box at a time. So on the right hand side, I've got three Cl's, but on the left hand side of the arrow, I've got two. So I'm going to add another one of them. Now I've got four Cl's on the left hand side, but only three on the right hand side. So I need another box on the right hand side. OK, so now I've got six CLs on the right hand side in total and two ALs. So if I had another box of CLs, now I've got six of them. And if I had another box of AL, I've got two of them. So now I've balanced the equation. And all I have to do is put the numbers back into the original equation. Two boxes of AL, three boxes of CL2 and two boxes of ALCL3. I hope you did OK with that. If you're a little bit rusty, maybe you want to look back at lesson three before you move on. So those elements like AL and CL can be placed into two main categories, and those are metals and non-metals. And if I show you a full uh, picture of the, the periodic table like that, you'll see that if I take the little line between B and AL, just there, and I kind of walk down as if I'm walking down steps from left to right, I can separate the, the uh, periodic table into two sections. On the left of that line are where all the metals are, and on the right of that line are where all the non-metals are. So very simply, if you were asked to describe where the metals are on the periodic table, you can just say to the left-hand side. And the same with the, the non-metal, you would just say to the right-hand side. There are six science classes at Buell Hill, and if I click on class one, what it does is it reveals all the names of the pupils that are in uh, class one. We don't call them classes on the periodic table, we call them groups. And group one has all the elements that are underneath it in it. So for instance, H, Li, Na and K are all in group one, as are IRB, CS and FR. And as we move from left to right, we just get another group each time, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you expect it to be eight, but actually it's group zero. And we'll tell you why when you get to key stage four. In the middle, that big section there that has no um, number with it is actually a group called the transitional group. Now, let me ask you some questions about it. If I was to ask you to name me a, a, an element in group two, you would have to go and find group two and then give me the name of an element. And the answer that I chose was MG because he's in group two, but it could be any of the others. If I was to ask you to, to actually be a little bit more specific and the question said, what group is CL in? Well, let me, let me give you a clue. CL is a non-metal, so he's to the right-hand side of the periodic table. You found him yet? He's in group seven. Second one down. And if I was to ask you to name me a metal in group five, well, you have to go and find group five first. And three possible answers are SB, BI, and MC. It can't be N, P or A, S because I asked you for the name of a metal and those three are non-metals. Now, instead of reading from top to bottom like we do in a group, we could also read from left to right like you would in a book. And if we read from left to right, we're reading along a period. So if we went to period one, which has H in it, and you trace your finger all the way to the right hand side, you would also have H E in it. So H, hydrogen, and H, E, helium are found in period one of the group uh, of the periodic table. And it's the same thing. We just go from top to bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So if I to ask you a question about that and ask you to name me an element in period five, you'd find period five and you can name me any element. And there's too many to choose from. I chose AG, which is silver. If I was to ask you to tell me which period N is in, and now I'd have to tell you where N is first. It's a non-metal. You found it? Hold well on. It's in period two. And if I was to ask you to name me a metal in period three, what would you say? 
Well, there's three possibilities. It's either NA, MG, or AL. Can't be any of the others because they're non-metals. You ever played this game, Battleships? Playing Battleships is a little bit like locating an individual element on the periodic table. So when you play Battleships, you have to give a, a, a number and a letter. So you would say A6. And if that was where your ship was, you'd have to put a little pin in it, wouldn't, wouldn't you? And that's exactly what it's like trying to locate specifically where an element is on the periodic table. OK, so let's say I asked you to specifically find for me AL and be really precise aware about where it is. So if you said to me it's in group three, well, that's no big deal. So because so is IM, so is B. So you have to be a bit more specific and give me the group and the period. So AL is in group three. And if you then go across, it's also in period three. So you could say AL is in group three, period three period three. It's the only element in that place. So what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to have a go at locating the six, sorry, the five elements on the right of the screen. How'd you get on? Helium is group zero, period one. Silicon is in group four, period three. Calcium is in group two, period four. Uh, gallium is in group three, period four and francium is in group one, period seven. Well done if you managed to get those right. But if I ask you to do it the other way around, what if I give you the, uh, the group and the period number and ask you to tell me the name of the element? So for instance, if I said this, what's the element in group two, period six? Well, I can find group two, I can find period six, and the only element there is BA, barium. Okay, so pause the video again and have a go at the five on the right hand side. OK, hope you managed to do that well. Group seven, period three is chlorine. Group zero, period five is xenon. Group three, period two is boron. Group one, period six is cesium. And group four, period two is carbon. Well done if you managed to do that. You're finding your way around the periodic table. OK, to finish today's lesson, we're going to do something a little bit different. And we'd like you to share your answers with us on the Beale Hill Science uh, Instagram page, or you can email your answer to your teacher. If that sentence that's on the screen said Man United wear red, you could say Man United wear red and white shorts, black socks. You could say Man United wear red, but so do Liverpool, unfortunately. Man United wear red because when they changed their name from Newton Heath many years ago, they decided to have a change of kit colour. So what we'd like you to do is write the sentence three times. All elements are found in the periodic table and, but, because. Okay, take care, look after yourselves.